family. How you guys doing? What's up with it? Okay, it is July the 5th, 2017. It is 9.17 in the p.m. And I have come on to do a video about these Instagram gimmicks. Okay? We've been seeing this shit rolling on all social networks. They got bras that lift your titties up. They got snap-on teeth. Brothers is using Beijing and all kind of dust in their scalps and all that old type of shit. Motherfuckers are selling goddamn tea like 40 going north. And people are buying it. So I'm just here to debunk some of the myth about this bullshit. Okay? Ladies, please. I understand that these body wraps and all this bullshit that's out. Every, don't nobody want to be heavy. Okay, I was once 343 pounds. That was my highest weight. I weigh 172 pounds today. I wear a size 10 and 11. Okay, so I nominate myself because I have had a disposable income to be able to get whatever the fuck I needed. Lift, tuck, this, that, that, this, that. I've had it to do. I've done a lot of those things. So I nominated myself to come on here and speak on this bullshit. Because and therefore people are truly fucking up their incomes. Based on what they seeing on Instagram with this shenanigans and bullshit that is not going to work. Okay? It's not going to work. Okay? Let's start off with the bralette, the breast thing that motherfuckers is putting on there and they're supposed to be lifting the breasts up. I posted that on my Facebook today. Um, cute, tiny, did it, had the things on the titties, pulled the string. They lift up, they sit up, it's working, everything on 10. Let me tell you something, ladies. That shit don't work if you have not had your breast augmented in some way, shape, or form. Be it a breast lift, or you've had some form of implant, or if your genetics are just good and you just have naturally perky breasts, then that shit ain't gonna work. Don't waste your money on that bullshit. I'm, I'm, sick, I'm sick of... Seeing it all over Instagram and all this, everybody is doing that. But if you notice that everybody that they are picking to post and to promote, to promote this product has had some work done already. You cannot compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. Okay? Now, all these ladies have had boob jobs. I've had my breast lift myself. Okay? So with that, your breast sit up. My breasts don't rest on my rib cage. My, my my nipples are not going towards the ground anymore. My breasts once did that. I still wear a 34 G cup, but my breasts sit up. My my nipples are up. They're straight up like that. They're not uh, uh, you know they're not down like that anymore. So if I put that on, it's just gonna give me more. It's gonna enhance my cleavage. Okay, that's all it is doing. It's not lifting your breasts and all this stuff. So, ladies, please don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money. These chicks that they have nominated to promote this product have had breast augmentation. That's total difference from a double D cup and you didn't have three or four children. Your titties is not going to sit up like that. Okay, you're wasting your money. Okay, now, this motherfucking Slim T or flat tummy tea, whatever the get down is. That is some bullshit when you're looking at women that have had tummy tucks, liposuction, fat transfer, things of that nature, that flat tummy tea shit ain't gonna work. Stop spending your goddamn income taxes on the bullshit. It's not going to work. Because from uh, uh, being a patient of not only did I have um, gastric bypass in 1994, but hell, I've had lipo, I've had tummy tucks, two of them, okay? And so with that, that is what makes your stomach flat, okay? Your stomach is never going to be flat if you've been heavy sometime in your life. You're going to have loose skin, especially if you've been over 50 pounds. If you've been over 50 pounds for a considerable amount of time, when you lose the weight, you're going to have a profound amount of loose skin. And depending on how much weight you were heavier, then therefore you're going to have a massive amount of loose skin. 
So what do they do? That's what the bad body magic and all this bullshit and all these body garments and waist trainers and all this bullshit that motherfuckers is putting on, but they not telling you that they just had lipo. A lot of these women with these huge asses, they had a lot of the fat pulled from their stomach and, and, and transferred to their ass, to their hips, to their faces, to their calves. Yes. Yes. You know, some women don't even like the way their ankles are and they get fat in their ankles. I live in the land of the law. I live in the state of California, I ate. And here in Southern California, if you have a disposable income, either you fix that shit or you cover it up, okay? And the more money you got, the more you can fix your shit up, okay? And especially if you live your life in front of a camera and whatnot, these chicks is getting their teeth zoom whitened. They're getting veneers. They're getting lumineers. There's a difference. Lumineers is cheaper than veneers. Veneers are porcelain, okay? Now, I believe luminaries is more so like acrylic, which is total different, but it's still going to give you the same look. But luminaries are going to snap on, on your teeth, whereas um, veneers, they, they uh, sand your teeth down to pegs, and then they put a whole plate in, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, a whole tooth in, you know what I'm saying? Then they have these plates that they got on... Um, Product, TV, and all that bullshit that come on at 2 o'clock in the morning. A whole plate that you can put in your mouth. That's the cheap ones, okay? So those cheap ones, those plates are the cheapest. Then you're going to go to Lumineers. Then you're going to go to Porcelain Veneers, okay? Porcelain Veneers are the top notch. Those are the best ones that you can get, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a little tidbit about it. I have a whole lot of friends that got Porcelain Veneers in their mouth. Look beautiful as a motherfucker. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't have that. But Mr. Malibu has it. And when I tell you, his motherfucking mouth, it just seemed like that shit glow in the dark. His motherfucking teeth are so absolutely just flawless and beautiful in his mouth. And that's what porcelain veneers will give you almost a glowing effect. Like, you know how, like, when you go in a club and you wear white and, and, and in a club and the shit just glow? That's how you could tell when motherfuckers got them... Um, porcelain veneers in their mouth because that shit low-key glow in the darkness. In concerts and shit like that, I'll be like, baby, you don't understand that your teeth, <laughs> your teeth glow. Yes. So, that is, let me debunk that on that because a lot of people is like, okay, well, shit, how they get their teeth this way? How they get that te their teeth that way? And a lot of them also have Invisalign. A lot of them are wearing Invisalign you know, and they just take them motherfuckers on and off. A lot of them wear when they're traveling. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to wear it for a certain amount of hours throughout the day and whatnot. So you'll see them, you know, they are wear their, their, their uh, Invisalign when they're off camera and so on and so forth. Just to keep their teeth straight. You know, so there won't be no shiftings in the, in the orthodontic work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it goes down. Money... Will get you, will have you bad as a motherfucker. You ain't got no business looking raggedy as a motherfucker when you got extra money. It don't make no sense to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the question I always say to women and to people that talk about people that are able and have gotten work done. You know, I was once told I was building a body. I was doing this and this and this. Oh, Tina over there doing that. Tina, Tina, Tina. But the same ones wish they could get a tummy tuck. Same motherfucking ones wish they could get breast lifts and motherfucking thigh lifts and this and that and arm lifts and this and this and this and this and this. And this. That shit costs money. Insurance don't pay for that. Insurance don't pay for that. It's called cash. It's called dispensable income. That is, that's how all that shit is done. And when you start calculating up all that motherfucking money, then therefore that shuts them up. Shut your ass up. Don't say nothing else about this right here because you can't do what I do. So shut your ass up. Okay, but do you see how flat this motherfucking stomach and shit is? Holler at me when you get your shit this way. That's how, you know, I was feeling at once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? I'm still driven to that from time to time to get a motherfucker up off of me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's that shuts them up when you tell them, okay, you can't do this though. You might can do that other shit, but you can't do this right here. 
You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't like that. But sometimes you got to pull the trump card and let them know, look, check this out. But you can't do what I do. You feel me? So, then they come out with, oh, well, you wearing body magics and you got on this and you got that on and waist trainers and all that bullshit. All these waist trainers and all that, you're looking at women that have tummy tucks, liposuction. Let me tell you something. When you get liposuction, one thing is you don't gain weight in that area anymore. So when motherfuckers say, oh, I had lipo, but I gained it back. No, motherfucker, you never had lipo, not in the abdomen. You Stop saying that lie right there. Because if you, if you get lipo in your stomach area, you will never gain weight in that area anymore. Because why? The fat cells have also been removed. Okay? So then, therefore, fat don't grow that no more. But I've had Zorona. Now, Zorona is making your fat cells shrink. But the fat cells are still there. You see what I'm saying? But lipo, they're suctioning out all that shit. The fat cells and the fat, okay? But they're also replenishing that with epinephrine and different fluids and stuff like that because they have to put fluid in to ex extract it. And when they put these things in, these different fluids in there, when you're getting lipo, it's breaking down the fat so then therefore it's liquefying it so then therefore it can be extracted. So that's why they have to put that extra fluid in there. So after you get liposuction, there's, you're retaining fluid because of the fluid that they put in there. So if you get lipo, say for instance, in June, you're not going to have full result until probably June of next year. Because it doesn't happen instantly like that. Tummy tucks are an instant gratification. Breast lifts, breast augmentations, instant gratification. Uh, fat transfer, instant gratification. But to get full results of your work your body has to calm down and all the swelling has to go back the fluid exchange has to go down there's a process on that the other day i was watching on monday um love and hip-hop hollywood and they had a show out about the secrets and you know my boy safari was talking about his hairline now i've already talked about this before my boy ricky new edition okay now, a lot of the fellas out here, they get their hairlines redone, okay? Fuck Beijing. Beijing is for brothers that's on, a, that's on a budget. When you ain't got no budget and you got a disposable income, you get just like their microblading or eyebrows, which I've had it. I need to get mine retouched to, to darken them back up. I just haven't been. It's just a conflict of, of, uh, of scheduling. And my girl is gone. But she says she's coming back, so then therefore when she comes back, then therefore I can get my shit done. But no, she's, you know, she's not here anymore. But, regardless to the fact, they microblade men's hairline and wherever they're thinning at. Men get that here in the state of California. Men get lipo. Men even go as far as getting pecs put in. They get their calves redone. They're getting full liposuction of the abdomen. Oh, yeah, it's brothers be walking around here with waist trainers on up under their shirts and shit. Compression suits and compression tops and things of that nature. Oh, yes. Out here in the state of California, when you got a disposable income, goddammit. Now, you can look raggedy in the meantime and in between time when you're just chilling at the house or whatever. But when it's time for a motherfucker to go out in the atmosphere, when it's time for a motherfucker to go to a concert or whatever or whatever, whatever... That's when they're going to be filleted out. Because all that money that they done spent on all that right there, then therefore now they're playing it up in their outfits and whatever the hell else. Or am I just talking about myself? Okay? There's no, I'm just being honest with you. Okay? So when you're seeing all these things that you're seeing on TV and Instagram and all this shit, these people done paid money. Okay? They done paid money. To get those type of results. But they're selling you this bullshit ass slim tea. And flat tummy tea and all this bullshit. Which is nothing more than um, giving you diarrhea. That shit is pretty much it's a cleanser. What do you want to do? Do you want to cleanse out your colon? You can get a colonic for that. That's what we do here. We get colonics regularly. Okay. So, I mean, what is that? Me and my me and my ex went and got a colonic. Well, he got I didn't get a colonic that day, but my ex, he got a colonic. 
That's the state of California, baby. That's how it goes down here. Motherfuckers is, is on some vain shit out in this motherfucker. When you see somebody bald-headed, somebody toe up, and somebody this and this and this, they don't have a disposable income. And on top of that, you can buy hair by the pound. So then, therefore, when you see a motherfucker bald-headed, oh, that's their choice. <laughs> that's pretty much their choice. You know what I'm saying? Or their disposable income is not allowing them to do just that right now. See, people pray for different things. Okay, everybody don't pray for the same stuff, and nor is everything for everybody. But if you had a disposable income, what would you truly look like? I always tend to ask people that because I get so much bullshit about the same stuff all the time. So my question is always, if you had it, what would you do? Just like me, I'm 45 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm single, it's me plus three. If it was you, what would you be doing? How would you be living? How would you be going about your life, your day-to-day -day thing? You know what I'm saying? If you had a, a disposable income, so don't get mad at motherfuckers that's able to do something at this point in time. Because who's to say? You know, you're able to do this now, but you might not be able to do this in four or five years, two or three years. Everything has an ending. Okay? Now, unless you have a strong residual income, you know what I'm saying? And you on some Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kim, all that type of stuff. If you on that type, and Minaj and all these, or Rihanna's and all of them, they got disposable income. Not only that, but they have a residual income. Probably seven streams of income. So what are you expecting them to look like? Now, when they're at their houses, the cameras is not rolling. Now you're gonna see them in their element, and you gonna, because they're not—it's not like the camera action, which means they can be their authentic self. When you see them, when the cameras are rolling, you see their representative. You're seeing their alter ego. You're seeing what you're what you're paid to see. You paying to see that. You're just like uh. Oh boy, RuPaul's Drag Race, like he always say, whenever you see me dressing in drag, that means I got a check attached to it. I'm not going to put all this shit on unless there's a check attached to it. So yes, it's, it's a whole, when I tell you that it's a whole, uh, what is the word, I had the word in my, in, 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 you know, in my thoughts and I missed it. It's a whole production, that's what I wanted to say. It's a whole production when it comes down to the entertainment business. Okay, there's a production. Everything is not what it seems like. A lot of things are premeditated. A lot of things are set up that way, you know. And when they are in front of the camera and all that kind of stuff, you have to play the part. You have you have a um, uh, you have a lifestyle to uphold. You have this image to uphold. So they have to constantly keep getting Botox and fillers and this, this. One thing about lipo and stuff, though, once you get lipo in a certain area, you don't have to get it there anymore. But the more weight that you lose, you might have more loose skin. Like, I still have, I have more loose skin on my abdomen now because now I've lost more weight than I did when I got the tummy tucks when I first got them. So, the more weight you lose, you might have to get a little bit more nips and tucks. You see, I still got a little bit because of the, the extra weight loss. Now, I still got a little bit of extra loose skin in different places now because I've lost more weight since I've gotten that work done. But I don't have that kind of disposable income. I don't have that residual income like Rihanna and them and all that. The whereas the doctor's just on speed dial, and if they tell you this gonna be twenty three thousand, and you just ready to make an appointment on that day, you know what I'm saying for next week. See, I don't have it like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not one of them. Okay, I just been lucky. You know what I'm saying? And I've just been placed in situations and and and. You know, to whereas I just had it, you know, at the, at those times that I had it. But to be humble about it, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I can go on and on and on about this topic. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go back and forth with it. But, you know, um, it becomes a habit, shall I say that, okay? As you've seen, some people go to the extremes with their nips, tucks, fillers, extractions, and, you know, upgrades, and whatever. Their rejuvenations and all that kind of stuff. Motherfuckers go out completely out of hand with it and just, you know, because everything, every, everything has a fee. 
And whatever you want, if you got the money, you can do it. It's just that simple. And especially living out here in California, I, can't, I don't know what they're doing in Atlanta. They are putting ass on by, by the pound at a rapid rate down there. One thing I can say, boy, that motherfucking Dr. Curves down there, he done made a whole bunch of motherfucking money on putting them asses on down there. Now, some of it is just doing just a little bit too much. It's not even looking authentic anymore. Now, motherfuckers is walking around like little donkeys, little my little pony looking motherfuckers now. You know, you're getting it just a little bit too much. You ain't got to put that much ass on there. Now, if you're just going to get enough to kind of pop some of the dents out, you know, make your shit like a little bit more curvier or whatever, okay, that's fine. But putting so much on it, when you know your legs ain't matching that, it kind of look a little crazy. But one more again, when you're in front of a camera or whatever it is that you do to make your money, and your looks is what you're making money on, then therefore you tend to push the envelope more and more and more and more and more. And I'm going to tell you another thing, though. That shit that they, that propovol, that verset and all that shit, man, when they give you that motherfucking shit there, when I tell you that's the cold, I can see why Prince, Michael Jackson, and all these motherfuckers was so addicted to that shit. Okay, I've been put down a whole bunch of times in my life. I've been put to sleep a whole bunch more times than I'm willing to admit on this motherfucker. Okay, but with that said, I understand how it can become a habit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, God has kept me because then therefore if I had more money to just do, I probably would be somebody else, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just a Virgo in me or what, but Virgos are perfectionist people. You let something don't look right, okay, either I'm going to fix this or I'm going to cover it up. It's just that simple. But if you have that reoccurring residual income and you constantly on the fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, upgrade, fix it, fix it, fix it, it ain't no good. It becomes a habit, okay? And when you have those types of doctors that's willing to just take your money and fix you up, man, you get caught up in pain pills, I mean, you see this shit, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people that have had a lot of work done, luckily, I didn't fall into that category. But here in the state of California, hey, based on my medical history, I've been able to, I've been privileged to have me a cannabis card. So that's, that's, my, that's my motherfucking choice right there. You know what I'm saying? That's my device. That's what I, that's how I get down. But if some motherfuckers got to have a little bit more than that, because of all the subsequent surgeries and the verse set and the purple bowl and all that kind of stuff. That shit is actually addicting. It really, really is. And a lot of times now, well, even back then, because I started getting surgeries. Oh, my God. My baby is 15. So, I think I got my first tummy tuck when my baby was about two years old. So I've been doing this a long time. I'm not new to it. I'm true to it. I've been there, done that, done done it, done been asleep, all that. From Beverly Hills to motherfucking Mexico, I'm versed on that. So I'm not telling you about bullshit that I done read about. I'm telling you about bullshit that I done partake, that I, that I partake in. I don't know if I'm saying it right, because I know it ain't partook, but I have partaken in this type of thing. I've done that. So I'm able to talk to you guys from experience, not from what the fuck I done read or, you know, watching some memes and some Instagram shit and some other shit and some other shit and some other shit. No, I've been about that life, okay? There's no brag, there was no nothing like that because I'm humble about it, okay? You know, and goddamn, some of that money I could have used on some other motherfucking things because I don't have it like Kim and them. Let me just be clear about that. I don't have, uh, um, uh, uh, China sponsorship. I ain't got... You know, Kim's money and the rest of these motherfuckers, Minaj's, you know, coin. I ain't got that. So then, therefore, they continue to keep perfecting and perfecting and perfecting and perfecting. And it becomes a habit. And then that leads on to, you know, other things such as the drug abuse of prescription drugs. I can't attach no illicit drugs because I don't know nothing about that. But I know a lot of people that have had, and speaking of which... Yesterday, I was cooking a, a holiday dinner for my kids, and I went to Food for Less. I saw a girl in there that I was her charge nurse because I do have a nursing background, but this was one of my um, CNAs from way back in the day. And I ran into actually two different women in the store that was once, you know, that I had once worked with before. 
So as I'm standing there, I'm talking, and one did another one walked by. And so she said, excuse me, I know you, da 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 you used to work at blah, blah, blah. And, oh, but I see you also on YouTube. So we all in the store, and we talking. And one of the young ladies told me that one of my dear friends, her name was Stephanie, and she passed away. And so that's another reason why I'm speaking on this. Um, it's for the simple fact that, you know, she too had a disposable income and she too was getting a lot of work done. She started off with the gastric bypass and with that, when you weigh over a certain amount of pounds, you got to get that skin and shit removed. That shit is not covered through insurance. Now I know some motherfuckers is going down there getting that penolectomy, you know, to whereas they just, you know, well say you got a, a, a hernia and then we can give you a, a slight tummy tuck. It's not going to be the full thing, but we will be able to pull some of the skin off. You know what I'm saying? Kaiser and different, you know, based on what the wording is, different motherfuckers is getting it done throughout there with their insurance and whatever. Whole nother motherfucking tilt. But one of the young ladies told me yesterday that my very dear friend, and I haven't spoke to her for years, but she passed away not too long ago. Um, and that she had became addicted to prescription medications because of subsequent surgeries. Because they give you whatever you ask for. If you tell them, okay, look here, check this out, doctor. And you done gave me this tummy tuck. I'm going to need something strong as a motherfucker. I'm going to need some morphine. I'm going to need some shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need some ecstasy or whatever you'll get down here. Volume, whatever. When you're giving these people tens and twenties and thirties and fifty thousands of dollars, why won't they write you a prescription for whatever the fuck you ask for? See, it's a trap. See, that shit is not discussed. So, yeah, that's just a whole nother video. But I just I just wanted to come in and just chime in on that because I had posted the Brawlit Get Down on my Facebook today and I was getting my share of questions about it. Um, a young lady also hit me up in my email. Um, she wants to get some work done and she wants to go to Mexico and get it. Um, and so, I believe, I don't know if I answered you back. I get my fair share of emails about all kinds of things. But, Mama, re hit me up and I'll give you my doctor's information. Because I know you was wanting the doctor in Mexico. So, then therefore, hit me up again and I will give you that information or whatever. I just don't want to put it all out there like that. And motherfuckers is not really serious and they just playing. You know what I'm saying? So, and it goes, I don't need motherfuckers. Well, see, first of all, it's, it's, it, you it's a confidentiality, so you can't call them no motherfucking way and be like, oh, okay, I heard you did Tina's whoop and whoop, uh, this and this and this. No, it's a confidentiality clause that they can't discuss, you know, who their patients are and who they work with or whatever the case. So, but at any rate, um, if you do need uh, a liaison between Mexico and you need to know about transportation and different things and the protocol and how it works and, you know, whether or not you need passports and things of that nature, then therefore, hell yeah, you can hit me up and I can, I'm versed on that. Been there and done that. I didn't have work done in Mexico, okay, as well as Beverly Hills, okay, as well as a doctor here also in the Inland Empire. So I'm kind of versed on those things. So at any rate, I just wanted to come in and talk about those things. And I'm out of this motherfucker. You guys have an awesome night. I love you guys. You guys take care. Bye-bye for now.